Hello everybody, Buddy Wood Midland, Texas. What we're looking at is an email that I sent about four hours ago. You can see it right there. And it went to our mayor, uh, Blong, and it went to a city councilman, uh, Burks and Poole, and also Dan Corrales, who, who uh, uh, died last week. The name of this email was titled Civil Lawsuits. And, and here it's a short read, so I'll just read it real quick. I said, Mayor Blong, I was asked on Facebook, why don't you sue them? That's a fair question, so I explained why I haven't brought any civil lawsuits yet, but I thought it's deserving since I was left crippled living under the threat of death every day for over 10 years, and the financial cost has been immense, all thanks to violent criminals breaking into homes and killing unsuspecting homeowners with the help of the Midland Police. Below was my response. Capital attempted murder is a criminal case and not civil. However, I believe there could be many civil cases that could be pursued at some point. The bold and blatant lawlessness has been the holdup. I think it's right and deserving since I was left disabled without a job and my name smeared around the world and all I did was buy a home and report crimes to the Midland Police Department. I have about a half million dollars in bills that I can't pay because of this and, and prior to the mur premeditated murder attempt, I was debt free. I haven't brought any civil cases yet because my experiences with the judicial system, such as the protective order hearing, made me believe it is as corrupt as the five Midland Police Department officers, Davis, Dickey, Chatwell, Angel, and Hale, who were proven to be under my home on the night that somebody under my home shot me with my phone lines cut. Here are some examples. I believe a civil case could be brought against the Home Depot store since I believe there was a tunnel going from that store to my home which was used in the many crimes here including the premeditated capital attempted murder as well as the previous murder deaths said to have happened here. I was told there were four of them. Other possible civil cases uh, could be against the many old companies who I believe had people at the underground parties, which might include my company, DCP Midstream, which is actually, uh, th that stands for Duke, Conoco, and Phillips, all major old companies, who I believe had employees that knew about the underground parties before I was crippled for life in a premeditated merge camp and was then involved in trying to cover it up afterwards. I, I suspect uh, many, many old companies had people that were at these old show parties. I had reported five co-workers to my company because I believe they knew who was breaking into my home, which made a hostile work environment, while I had violent criminals breaking into my home that were planning my murder. And I believe they knew because of the old show parties. And of course, civil cases against uh, could be brought against the hospital and the doctors that faked x-rays x -rays and then crippled me for life on purpose by doing a partial amputation based on these fakes, faked x-rays. I got all the proof in the world proving it. Possibly I could sue any individuals who knowingly and intentionally smeared my name in the public by calling me crazy, which might include those who had been to the underground parties. One guy made a smear video about me that was seen by two and a half million people. That has brought shame to me and my family, and I'm the innocent and crippled crime victim. And let's don't forget the neighbors who are believed to have had tunnels to my home and or knew about the tunnels and conspired to not report them in an effort to cover up the capital crimes and murders. Oh yeah, and the Midland Police Department, along with the other law enforcement groups who have proven to be tampered with the evidence, lied on police reports, and continue to obstruct justice. I've contacted many elected officials with proof, and I've suspected they knew about the underground homes and then it's, it's obstructed justice by inaction. Right now, I'm just trying to stay alive long enough to find good police to expose the underground homes and arrest these violent criminals. The same crimes they reported when they shot me from under my home are still going on to this day, and that's being allowed by the police. It's been reported to the police multiple times. I, they know about the underground homes. They know about the tunnels. They know about the people in the attic. They're a part of it. That's the problem. I don't know how it could be any more dangerous than it is with the police working for cold-blooded killers who are pre-planning the murders of innocent, unsuspecting homeowners like myself. And now it's known there are many other rig homes, as proven by the pe many people in the attic calls recorded from the police scanner. And, and I attached that latest video called Possible Civil Lawsuits. 
and, and that video was showing where where the where it's believed the tunnel was going from the Home Depot store to my house, and then the and where the bunkers in the backyard. And and I was told there had been four murder deaths here before they cut my phone lines and shot me. And then here I am, crippled for life. There's a there's a, a recent you know picture of the of my foot. You know, here's another one here, my Achilles tendon. And and you know, and I was home and minding my own business. These are the eleven secret police that I had to offer a two thousand dollar reward to get identified. It took six years and a two thousand dollar reward before a private investigator, uh, uh, Empire Private Investigation, Stephen Powell, named all eleven of them: Rosie Rodriguez, April Chandler, Tony Dickey, Greg Chatwell, Gary, Greg Nelson, Marty Barrett, Chad Simpson, Mike Naylor, Mark Gilliam, Michael Glick, John Woodward. That that's the secret police there. Five police were under my home that night. That's this next one. This police report was illegally withheld to me. It was subpoenaed and illegally withheld for seven years. And the reason they withheld it, because it proved these five officers were, were uh, had come in from under my home from the trap door in that, probably the Home Depot tunnel. Matt Davis, Tony Dickey, Greg Chadwell, Kenny Angel, Dylan Hale. And, and they were all listed as being at or in my home. And they were not seen arriving on the... Uh, on 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 the security cameras out front. That's all other police officers. And then this is a copy of the email that I sent to City Councilman Dan Corrales and and the mayor. And 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 this was last week on the day that he supposedly killed himself. You know, I I said the obstruction of justice it, it needs to stop. They asked him to step down. I wondered if Dan Corrales was part of the obstruction of justice. And I was talking about the horrific medical crimes and the, and the maiming and the mutilation that happened to me at the hospital. And then I'm showing here, here I am crawling out. The only reason I crawled out because they cut my phone lines before they shot me. I had burglar alarms going off the attic. It's documented by the nurse on the nurse's report, you know. It's documented by a voice recorder that the police stole, you know. Yeah, so I think, yeah, there could be plenty of civil lawsuits and the obstruction of justice is still going on. The, the smearing of my name is still going on, you know. Uh, yeah, there's so many, I, I can't even count. But anyway, Midland, Texas.